a chain wear indicator, that is, we call it a chain checker, from Abbey Tools has got the attention of some prominent people, such as Leonard Zinn, author of Road Bike Maintenance and Mountain Bike Maintenance. We're going to take a look at how Abbey Tools suggests we use this and how it works for you or us in our shop. This is how Abbey Bike tells you to measure longitudinal lengthening or stretch of the chain. Flip over the tool, place the pin so it firmly sits in this notch, grab the other end, we'll turn it over, make sure that you're on the left side your thumb and finger are holding that chain tight and then we'll take a look at how the pin lines up. Let's shoot in for a close-up. While holding the chain firmly with the left hand, pulling on the link with the right, we can see that the pin lines up pretty well in the center at the 0% longitudinal wear mark, which in this case happens to be at the very top. If we move it down to the bottom, we can see the pin is not centered at 0.25 less as we move up to 0.751%. So this chain is, shows no significant longitudinal wear. This is another chain. This particular chain, the pin lines up at the 0.5%. If you're dealing with an 11 or 12 speed chain, you want to replace it at this point. Next we're going to check for lateral wear that is side to side. We're looking down now at the chain not at the side of the chain. They tell you you're going to use five links well ending in an outer link. Well I use a master link so both ends end in an inner link so we'll use that. And then if we measure remembering that remember that the total length is an inner and an outer, it's actually four and a half. So we're going to put it on here. And hold this tight. They make it look so easy in their videos. All right, there we go. Such that the pin on this link the center of the pin lines up with the end of this little ridge. And we're going to try to hold that tight and then we're going to flip it up and see how much lateral movement there is. Holding the right hand firmly such that the pin, center of the pin lines up with the edge on the right. Look to the left, we can see that the chain does not sag below the replacement line which tells us that the lateral wear does not warrant replacement yet. Now Abbey Tools suggests we can use their chain checker while the chain is still on the bicycle, which is our preference. Let's give it a try and see how it works. I've placed the chain on the large chain ring, largest cog, to make this as taut as possible. Place the groove in the back onto a roller and then we're going to try to hold this the chain and the tool with one hand and observe where the pin lines up with the other. I'm holding the chain in the notch in the back firmly and we're going to cone in and see if we can see where the pin lines up difficult to see. Let's see if we can turn on a spotlight and see if that's a little easier to observe. Move the tool up and down till we see the pin. Pin seems in this case on this particular chain on this bike is at the 0.25 mark. If we move it up it is not centered at the 0.5 or any of the other holes 
in the tool. So this seems to be at a 0.25 wear indication. But notice you need a good side lighting to look through this. You need to hold the tool firmly with the left hand and move the tool up and down to look at the pin. Besides the difficulty of looking through these holes to observe where the pin lines up, I'll be damned if I'm going to take the chain off every time I want to check it for lateral wear, which is the only way, that is taking the chain off is the only way you can use this portion of the tool. Finally, at over $50 when you add in shipping and tax, is this tool really worth it? I'll let you decide. Please let me know what you think of this video and of the Abbey LL in the comments below. Subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. This is Tony of Tony Ken Speed. Safe cycling.